So people ask, what does TRP stand for? TRP stands for Tektro Racing Products. Um, why is that a cool thing? Tektro is the number two brake manufacturer in the world, just under Shimada. We produce, uh, it's like 13 to 14 million brakes a year. Um, out of those 14 million brakes, let's say there's you know four to five million brakes of those in the US, our warranty rate is extremely low. Out of that four to five million brakes, we probably have under 2,000 um, warranties, I think, last year. And I would say a handful of those are probably Goodwills, where it actually wasn't a warranty. We just helped out the customer and sent them a free product. So yeah, Tektro, has like the manufacturing capabilities, super reliable brake, um, yeah. TRP's Evo 12 drivetrain launched about a year and a half ago. Uh, a couple unique features, we'll start with the shifter, single speed shift mode and multi-shift mode. So if you're looking for stability, e-bike, anything like that, you can change it to single shift mode. So it only goes one shift on the advanced lever, one on the release lever or change it over to multi-shift mode so you can go through five gears at once. Um, go back to the derailleur, a couple unique features. The hull lock is our main one. Locks that B-tension bolt down. The only reason to have this rock back is to drop your rear wheel out or adjust the B-tension uh, bolt and B-gap. Once you get that all adjusted correctly, you can go ahead and lock that down. And there, unique feature, cage release pin, so you can pop that down. Once again, drop out your rear wheel. Adjustable clutch and replaceable clutch. So you can pop out these three screws, tighten down that clutch. If it does happen to go out after um, lots of use and whatnot, you can replace the whole clutch assembly. So it's super rebuildable. Go over to the crank. We have alloy cranks and carbon cranks. Um, all your standard bottom brackets, BSA, PF92, BB30. Chain ring size is from 30 tooth to 34 tooth. Um, this is the carbon crank over here. Comes in 165 and 170, uh, BB30, or sorry, 30 mil spindle. Um, cassette, weight wise, comparable to like XO level. It's a two piece cassette that slides onto a microspline free hub body, um, 1052 gear range. Here we have the DHR Evo. Uh, it's our top of the line, most powerful brake. Uh, a couple unique, cool features with the DHR Evo. Has a nine millimeter piston lever, which creates uh, good power, snappy feel, but great modulation. Uh, it's designed to be ran with a 2.3 thick rotor. Uh, this is our new race rotor we came out with about three months ago. Uh, benefits of the race rotor is it heats up quicker. So your first couple of corners, you're gonna have maximum brake power, and then it also um, stabilizes the heat on longer rides, so it's just better performing brake overall has a little bit snappier, uh, snappier bite to it so a little bit more powerful the all of our brakes now are designed for a 2.3 thick rotor um, that rotor came from when we started developing brakes for the e-bike class to have a stiffer more robust better heat management rotor some of the dh guys caught wind of it tried it on their normal trail bike they liked it a lot it makes sense you know the 1.8 was designed with like 160 rotors. As we got to a 220, 223, bigger rotor, it made sense to make it a little bit wider. Um, better heat management, stiffer, so when you're coming downhill, you don't get that harmonic spill when it heats up. Um, so that being said, entry level brake, Slade Evo. If you had like a brake out there, you weren't stoked on, wanted to replace the whole brake setup, these start out at $140 USD, use the 2.3 thick rotor. Slade Evo is a step up from there, it's gonna have a little bit nicer caliper. A little bit different lever, 10 millimeter piston in the lever, so a little bit more modulation. Good trail brake, starts out at 200 bucks. And then you go up to the DHR Evo, which is our premium. Um, top of the line, most powerful, has a nine millimeter piston in the lever. A little bit snappier, smoother feel, especially right off the um, initial pull. So you're gonna have less hand fatigue on long descents because it doesn't take as much to pull it. Um, nine millimeter piston also creates more power because you're pushing a little bit less fluid. Um, caliper wise, it's a redesigned caliper. This came out about three years ago, but I'll kind of explain it. Uh, the flow goes 360 degrees around the whole caliper, which helps out with heat management and the bleed procedure. When you're pushing fluid through, it's gonna push all that bad fluid out into the top of the lever, into your bleed cup, so you get fresh fluid on every bleed. Sweet, solid, thanks man.